Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Mitch and today is Wednesday the 18th of January 2023. I just made myself a cup of uh, Armenian coffee. Cheers everyone. And a little a little snack. So uh, <clears throat> back in uh, October of uh, 2022, late October, I put out a preview video of Charitan, Charitan village, which is uh, uh, which is located uh, in Tabush region, about um, four or five kilometers away from the Azerbaijan border. The school children. Uh, from that village, the year five school children uh, who are being taught by a lovely lady, a lovely Armenian lady who came from Greece to teach these children. She's part of the Teach for Armenia program and uh, that video um, gave you a little introduction of uh, the school the wonderful children, they're all 10 years of age, and a little tour of their village. So this is the full length version of that video as promised. And um, once again, apologies for the very big delay in, um, in putting out this video. I explained in the last uh, little video that I did uh, some of the reasons why but uh, hopefully this will make up for it and uh, we'll, we're back uh, to full health again, thank God. The school is in need of help. Uh, they uh, want to, um, uh, particularly Miss Sonna, she wants to give the school a good paint or some of the classrooms, if not all of them, brighten up the place, uh, maybe improve the heating uh, system, but in particular, she's looking for English books, simple English storybooks, flashcards and things like that. So if you have any of those uh, or you would like to donate um, maybe some money towards uh, the development of this school for these darling children, I'll put links in the description below uh, how you can uh, maybe send some gifts or a uh, monetary donation to, um, I think perhaps my workplace would be the best, um, the best and safest way through uh, the National Centre for Innovation and Entrepreneurship. I'll put links in the description and uh, to how you can first contact me and then um, uh, it would be wonderful if you can help in any way. So please sit back and enjoy this, uh, the full length version of Charitan Village, which will give you a, I think, a greater idea of exactly what it's like to live in a um, remote village in Armenia and uh, the authenticity of, um, of the place, the children, uh, and the work of a teacher. Uh, in um, such a place who has come from another country because she loves Armenia so much. She's living in difficult um, conditions. Winter is pretty brutal uh, and she doesn't have proper heating in her in her uh, home and uh, I was thinking maybe if there's some way we can uh, attend to that issue as well to make, uh, make life a little bit more comfortable for her. Um, perhaps some uh, kind of a electric kind of oil heater or something, uh, one or two of them, um, in place of what she has at the moment, which is a wood-burning stove, and she, she just hasn't got the time to cut the wood. So... Um, uh, Children are volunteering to come and cut the cut the wood for her, but when she's away all day, the the, the fire goes out. So it's it's not ideal, and she's getting sick. And we want her to be healthy. So if you can see a way to maybe donating um, some money towards perhaps better heating for her, um, it will make life a whole lot easier for her uh, in going forward in winter. 
So anyway, uh, without any further ado, here is the video of Choritan that was promised um, months ago. And um, the work of uh, this wonderful lady and her class, uh, Year 5 class. The children are amazing. Sit back and enjoy. You can see the winding road there that we came from. And the sign says Tabush. Be some. I'm so nice. Oh, this look at this! For you. Oh, wow! Oh, this is so beautiful. This is Intikina Sun, my wife. Wow. Oh, wow, this is so beautiful. It's not a cartoon. It's not a cartoon. <laughs> Welcome, 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 welcome to our, our school. school. It's such a beautiful Chatsirana Tabush Choratan, beautiful area. Choratan is shot very thick, very effective. So this is your teacher, yes? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. And mm. what what does she teach you? What <laughs> subject does she teach? You? English. 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 <laughs> uh -huh. So you know a little bit of English, uh, yes? Yeah. So are you all in one class? <laughs> uh, what, what year are you in? What year? Five. 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 Year five. And so how old are you? Ten. 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 You're all ten. Ten, 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 ten. Yeah. And you're the tallest. You're the tallest. Do I'm boy of And you're the shortest one. Then I'm gonna try to this. Very good. Very good. Uh -huh. Do you like to, do you like learning English? Do you see the of English? Yes. It's very important. Language for the future of Armenia. What shall we do now? Shall we, we go inside? Because it's a little shut yeah. huh? Let's go. Okay, let's go inside. It's such a beautiful area. It's an unbelievable. <coughs> and I teach 3 to 12. You're from Yerevan? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm from Echmiadzin. Echmiadzin. Yes. Oh, Echmiadzin. Where beautiful. the cathedral mm -hmm. is. Yeah. yeah. What made you choose to be a teacher or a teacher leader, it's called, mm -hmm. it's teacher leader, yes. in, for Teach for Armenia? The, the story begins <laughs> when there was this 44-day war. Mm -hmm. It was it had a devastating impact on me and my life, and I couldn't stop that. I was in Greece because I have come from Greece. Mm -hmm. I have traveled from Greece. Yes, oh. yes. and it, uh, I couldn't stand it that I'm there and I can't help my people. Uh -huh. So after the war, I started searching ways to come. Uh -huh. And I um, applied in a program called Igors, and uh -huh. that Igors yes. brings diaspora yes. um, uh -huh. professionals uh, to Armenia. Mm -hmm. And um, they told me that the best way to help my country uh, based on my CV 
is uh, work with fish for our minute. And I said, okay, so this is what I should do, then uh, let that be. Uh, so I applied and we had some intensive courses from February uh, until, uh, until August, yes. And so I decided to come here because for me education is the key and uh, of course I feel sad that my students there, uh, they, are, they are increased and I miss them too, but I think I have more to offer here than there, they need me more here and as I stepped in this um, village it felt like home. How long have you been a, a, a teacher leader in Charlottetown? Uh, for two months, two since, months. since September, months. yeah. Oh, it's, September. it's like, it's you. A, it's yeah, like yeah, you're yeah. part of the family here already. Yeah, already, yeah. <laughs> this is great. Can you just explain very briefly what is Teach for Armenia and what what's the difference between that organize, Teach for mm -hmm. Armenia organization and the public school system here? Yeah, the methods are different, the, method. the approach is different. It's, the student is the center. Yeah. I mean, the student becomes a leader. Oh, wow. Wonderful. Yeah, you, you um, throughout the lessons and the CBL program, Change Based Learning program, yeah. you help these yeah. students become future leaders yeah. for their uh, community, for their country. So this is the biggest challenge to make these uh, little ones think how oh, to think. So important. How to think so that they can make something for their own country, Amen. not wait for others to do it Amen. for them. Perfect. So we might ask you some more questions as we go along, but okay. I think the children, they're eager to show us a bit of the village, is that right? Yes, it's okay. They, they would love it. They also uh, talk to each other and say, we can show them okay. this, we let's, can show them that. Let's do that. I will let them lead. Okay. okay. Very good. Okay, let's do it. So, uh, where are we going? Huh? We're going this way? They are taking it to the kids are going. <laughs> How you say Oreg? So the children are just showing me this beautiful village where they live. Here they are, this is the children here. And I'm going to go <laughs> Say hello everybody, hello. Hello, hello well. Oh, it's so beautiful, yes? Yes. It's so pretty. Wow. What they say? A girl is a place, yeah. John is another the place. John is the place. John? John. 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 It's um the village. Hello. Ah, she's bringing little cat. Oh. <coughs> oh wow well, a little little cat. Oh look look at you This is the Mukitarian Center. Uh, they come here and uh, um, draw because our art teacher here ah. has this um, club mm -hmm. of drawing. Mm -hmm. So they are really interested in drawing, making uh, sculptures. Or, ah. uh, yeah, they are and they make them and sell them. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think when they sell them, yeah. they do something for their um, community. Community. Here, here. Yeah. That's wonderful. Some days, mm -hmm. um, a priest comes comes from uh, Bert, mm -hmm. the city of Bert. From Bert, yes. And they have Sunday school here and it helps them um, a lot, especially uh -huh. the more active students yeah. and boys. Uh -huh. And he uh, gives them advice and they read the scripture. Oh. I haven't been to any of their classes. But the children, but the like children to, yes, like they, it. Yeah, yeah, they attend. This is excellent. Yeah. Really good. Mm -hmm. 
because there is no church here so that they can ah. attend. Zoo, zoo. Yes, zoo. Wait, here he goes. Ah, I read somewhere there's some relationship with Italy. Yes, yeah? and this is there were some people from Italy mm -hmm. who have come here and donated some money to renovate this center. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, and I think uh, this boy has made it in memory of her, uh, his, his mother. Ah. Yeah, because she passed away. Yes. Saint Inchna, Boshenk. What is this place? Huh? It's Postna Gurabetarana. It's like in Nechamta. Village councillor and. Yes. Ah, village council. And high post. High post. High post? Yes. The post office. Ah, okay. Okay. Very good. Mm hmm excellent. Oh, this is a nice little property here. Oh, we've got some beehives. So, what are these called up here? What what do you call that in Hyrene uh, in chat, where the bee, bees go? Petak. Huh? Petak? Petak is the bee or petak is the honey? Which one? No, no, no. Petak is the house actually of the yeah. bee. Petak is the house of the <laughs> bee. What's the yeah. bee called? What's the bee Meru. called? Meru. 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 Yeah. And what's the bee? What does the bee make? Honey. How do you say? Meg. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 He seems to be very knowledgeable, that boy. He's all, yeah. he's, uh, he's like the, he's like yes. the tour guide, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. He's yes. like like Sela. Very Sela yes. for passionate yes. about his uh, village. Yes. Yeah. Like in general, passionate about there. talking and God, telling his stories. His father is still alive. Yes, 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 yes. I guess some of these children have a little bit of a sad story to tell. Yes, uh, one of the girls, the one with the blue. Um, like uh, code, mm -hmm. doesn't have a mother. Oh, yeah. Very and sad. I no, learned her, and I was informed about it um, mm -hmm. two days ago. Oh, yeah. Because I don't usually ask such no. things, but they not. told me that you know mm -hmm. his mother or her mother. Her mother. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, some um, a child's mother isn't alive, or the father. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some are uh, left alone with their grandmothers because mm -hmm. the mother abandoned them oh. and the father died at oh. war yeah but generally they they don't seem to be um that affected uh -huh. by the, uh, i mean uh, they don't show it actually yeah. they come to school they are really kind uh -huh. okay there are some um uh, let's issues, say issues. issues. Yes, there are some issues in their behavior, yeah. but in general, they are really uh, mm. kind, polite uh, students. Yeah, yeah. They need uh, to some someone love. to show some love. Yeah, 
someone to show them the way and yeah, love. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Every every human needs this. Everyone, of course. Uh, but especially children. Mm -hmm. Especially mm -hmm. children. And they are really smart. Yeah. If you give them the opportunity, uh, the chance, yeah. they can do miracles, yes. Beautiful words. But they're so enthusiastic, these children. And you can tell they love their teacher very much. You hold the camera. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where, what is Ure? Where are we going? Ure, say, where are we going? Bombay. Bombay? <laughs> Bombay is in India. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me let me ask you your names. What is your name? I'm on the My name is Victoria. Hmm? My name is Victoria. Victoria. My name is Anna. Anna. Hmm? Mary. Mary. And My name is Mara. 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 Uh -huh. Mara. Mara. And your name is? My name is Yuri. Yuri. My name is Jose. Jose. My name is Batman. Uh -huh. My name is Liana. Liana. My name is Rosa. Rosa. And, and what is the, your name? For the set, my name? Shigidem. <laughs> I don't know. What's, what's, I can, I can what, is, what is my name? In uh -huh. Petros. Petros Chan. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> and where, where, where do I come from? What, what country do I come from? Australia. Ah, mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm married to Miss Sonia. Mrs. So Mrs. Sonia. And she's Armenian. I'm Australian. She's Armenian. I work for the National Centre for Innovation and Entrepreneurship. And, and we give support to small and medium-sized businesses. And my job is a little bit different. My job is to bring the people, Armenians from the diaspora, back, diasporan Armenians back to Armenia. Not just Armenians, people from different parts of the world. There are a lot of people in the world who want to help our country, good people. Շատ լավ մարդիկ կան աշխարում, որ ուզում են Հայաստանին օգնեն, դրա համար իրանք ամեն ինչ անում են, որ իրանց բերենց տեղ։ And why I'm here today is because I love the regional uh, villages. Ինչի համար ես օրեք երեմս տեղ, որտեղ ասում եմ, գյուղերը շատ շատ եմ սիրում։ Because uh, your village is very beautiful, but I think it needs a little bit of help. Yes. Shat shat sirun gyonek bayats es haskatsa vor oknutsina petk steg inch vor te baner petka popokhol steg asmatenak menk inch kan inch kanov inchov yev inch kan karank oknen zes. Does anybody can anybody tell me what you need what what things are needed? Meknu mek dzans kara asi inchi mech kari kuni zer gyoe inch ek uzum do. Apa gai hamar asabali. And for this region she is she saying that school should be renovating and be better to mm -hmm. give us better studies. School should be renovated. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What's what needs to be done? Do you think? Inch is we need to have a caring school community uh -huh. and students. What do you want to do for your community? Hmm? Uh, they to collect rubbish and collect rubbish. clean it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roads made better. Roads better. Uh, 
A restoration of the church. Restoration of the church. That's mm. very good. I like what you said about rubbish yeah. because this is very, very important to to care for our environment. We throw a lot of rubbish on the ground, plastic bottles, and mm. it's not good. It, it all goes into the rivers, and the rivers get polluted, and, and go into the ocean, and ocean you can translate that. I think they have uh, had very beautiful uh, little river in a uh, in, uh, uh, canyon and because people threw so much rubbish, oh. yeah, it just became That's rubbish dump. So what, can we, what can we do? What can we do to change that? Inch karang kaning bole ti pochen. Gunang marketing che? Marketing. Yeah, go and clean up. Yeah, but who's going to, who's going to clean it? As ma ova marketing lo. Hmm. Uh, she's saying uh, when somebody throw rubbish, kill this person, uh, person not picking we, up, you know that you go. How can we change uh, people's attitudes about that? As my mom's current poor hand, my markants, we have been monk about chick sensibility. She gets a thing. But Castovrat's name. So Rat's name, you have only not Sarah Che. She's saying we have to teach people and be example. No good, good girl, good, very good girl. So, uh, Ms. Son, you come, you're Armenian, you come from, you were from Greece, and you studied your uh, teaching, you got your teaching degree in Greece. In Greece, yes. Yeah. And you have something in common with my wife. Yes. Don't you? Yes, we speak Greek. You speak Greek She, she uh, didn't reveal how she speaks Greek. Uh, <laughs> it's my what? secret. Yes, it's secret. It's a secret. It's a big secret. It's a big secret. What have been some of the challenges that you've had to face? You've only been here two months, but mm -hmm. what have been some of the challenges for you? In the village, where well, the challenge for me was to come and integrate, I was afraid mm -hmm. if they, they will welcome me or not, because I'm a stranger for yeah. them. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, they are really hospitable and friendly people, so mm -hmm. um, it, a, a bird thing came uh, out of my chest. Mm -hmm. so I'm, uh, okay with that now and yeah. there is water shortage in the village so water I, shortage yes and oh. so i have to i value every drop of oh, yes. water yeah. uh, here uh, and um, another challenge uh, for me was to um, since I miss my family back in oh, Greece, yeah. I, that's a big, the biggest challenge for yeah. me because I miss them very much. I can imagine. And it takes my my energy. Mm -hmm. And um, as in the school, well, uh, a lot of work should be done mm -hmm. uh, to educate and teach these uh, lovely uh, children, children English. Yes. Yeah. Because even in um, higher classes like tenth class, twelve, mm -hmm. and the, the level is quite poor. Yeah. So this is the biggest challenge for me, at least till May, if I can have a five percent progress. Yeah. yeah That's yeah. Good. yeah. Uh, only five, not more than five. It would be okay if I can get that five percent mm -hmm. progress in each class. And how did you manage to adapt? to village life after yeah. coming from 
I don't even mm. ask you where exactly in Greece. Okay. Okay. And Athens, in Athens. And Athens. Yeah. That, that wasn't a problem for me because mm. um, I already knew where um, mm. I'm coming. I mean, I knew that there will be some problems, mm. uh, the conditions, the living condition won't be excellent, yeah. but um, thank God yeah. I, I adapted quickly. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. because I, I um, I also wanted this way of life in the village. I was, uh, to be honest, I was sick and tired of the city and the hustle and bustle. So. Yeah, I, was, too much traffic. My wife yeah. and I also <laughs> love village life very much. Mm -hmm. That's why I was really uh, interested to come here. Mm -hmm. I didn't care how far I had to come. Yeah. Because I knew that this is so important. In, not just because it's a village, but because it's very close to mm -hmm. the border. And we need to re somehow rejuvenate and repopulate mm -hmm. the, the, the villages as much as we can and teach them it's amazing. new things. What you're doing is amazing and I'm really, really glad and happy and mm -hmm. enthusiastic that you're here. You know, when I came here, these children mm -hmm. uh, and the, the people uh, get that hope that mm -hmm. they are not alone, they are not left alone. Yeah. So, now that you have come here, mm -hmm. you have given me hope because mm -hmm. since I am here since September, yeah. uh, you, when something come, or someone comes from outside, yeah. wherever it, it might be from uh, Yerevan yeah. or in another from another country, mm -hmm. but <clears throat> you give uh, I can now understand them how people who come here in the village, either they volunteer or work here, mm -hmm. they give them hope when they are not alone, and they learn from them. Mm -hmm. And it's really important. Back in Greece, I didn't know how much it would help. I wasn't that sure, okay, I'll go and volunteer for two years, but will that help them? Yes, and I've come here and it helps them. How long will you be here? What is your My length? contract yes, is for contract. two years. Three, three two, years? Two, two years. Two, two years. And mm -hmm. you're, it's, it's, um, it's, you are paid. Yeah. And you have accommodation. Are you living with some family or are you No, living? no, I live alone. Live alone? Yeah, okay. I can show you. <laughs> maybe we're going to see that after. Yes, your maybe. Home. That would be your, great. But welcome. So what are the best things about being a teacher leader for Teach for Armenia? The best thing? Yes, for you. Oh, there are a lot. It's life changing to be honest. Uh -huh. And you become more patient. Mm. Yeah, uh, you work a lot, yeah. you're exhausted. Yeah. I might work 16 or 18 hours a day. Wow. Yeah, but, and then I sleep. But then you have the weekends and you can have some rest. But the best thing is that you, you, you think that you are a, a small part mm -hmm. that you can bring change to these children. Yeah. And you, it gives you a chance yeah. to do something and bring that yeah. change that these, these um, children need mm. so that they won't leave, go and not do anything about their community. Yeah. Mm. Most, if you ask most of them, they want to stay here yeah. and work here, but I'm there's and they need opportunity. Need to yes, you create that working yeah. uh, environment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, either it's a shop or uh, I don't know, um, a, a small business or something. So, so people that are listening to this um, mm -hmm. uh, interview and the video which we've done with the children, where they yeah. showed us around the village so beautifully, um, I, I want I want our audience to understand how important it is to um, uh, be, feel a part of, mm -hmm. of this type of community. Like, for example, um, there are ways in which people can help, especially the diaspora. Mm -hmm. It's not just about sending money. Uh, no, this is, this, this, is, this is, is a it, misconception. This is... This is what I want, is it's yeah. not the money. No. To, uh, this year we are going to do a project with the yeah. uh, children and the fifth graders. Mm -hmm. And of course for this project and for our school we need money. But this is not what we ask from these yeah. people. It's, 
come here, live with them, see what they are doing, what they need, what they need, mm -hmm. and then be a part of them, yeah. yeah, so that you can feel how they feel and how important what they do is for uh, yeah. these children and the community. And what my biggest challenge this year is to also make the people here care for yeah. their community and do things for their community yeah. and not wait man and make they, where they will uh, someone will donate money and uh, so for so. those of you who are who are watching this and you feel that you have some skills you have some ability or just you love uh, Armenia and you love regions and you love children. Yeah. And you want to be a part of the, the change that is happening. Yeah. I can feel it. Yeah. Sona can feel it. Uh, uh, that it is, is something is happening yeah. here that's very positive. We'll leave a link in the yeah. description of our video mm. to ways in which maybe they can contact, yeah. uh, maybe even yourself, but yeah. teach for Armenia. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and by all means, uh, yeah. feel free to ask questions tell us about yourself mm -hmm. why you'd like mm -hmm. to come and help or what you can do that would be wonderful come here like uh, like children mm -hmm. said they want to paint this uh, walls yeah. you know white floor Together. come and do with children this renovation yeah. mm -hmm. and teach is right it's not because of money mm -hmm. because of show your love to yeah. your motherland to these children and give them some hope for future mm -hmm. this is very important mm -hmm. it's hard it's very hard it's very very hard i don't want to um uh, paint to, a, yeah. a beautiful picture. Yeah, of I don't want to no. do that. It is hard, it yeah. is difficult, it is challenging. Mm -hmm. You need to have a lot of um, strength, emotionally, mentally strong. You need to be a mentally, emotionally strong person to do that, but it's worth it. So, I was, that's a great thing. It's, it's, it's a cliche, but. I was going to ask right. you so, okay, you teach for how many hours in the day officially? Uh, four. Uh, four. Four to five. But you said you had like an 18 hour day. Yes, because so I have some paperwork, I have to prepare for the classes. Do they, do the children come to you after hours as well? Or? Um, after the, uh, school we have a club, mm -hmm. but they, uh, we stay here uh, at the library upstairs oh, wow. Yeah, for an hour and okay. we do this project about our school. Yeah. And if there's anything that we can do as an organization to mm -hmm. help you, uh, we're going to stay in contact with, uh, sure. with develop, I think we're developing a wonderful relationship with Teach for Armenia mm -hmm. and uh, maybe in the future we can go to different villages mm -hmm. but this one honestly really touched my heart. See when I told you uh, that I felt like home when I yeah. stepped in yeah. and I didn't I know how to explain so. And Sonia too, she, yeah. and you, and you now have uh, another sister. And now we are going into the library. Is that right, uh, Sona? This is library. Oh, this is a new, this is a new room. Yes, it was renovated by one of the teacher leaders uh -huh. um, of uh, Teach for Armenia. Mm. Uh, wow, this is a beautiful room. Yes. Wow. And they have made an amazing job here. And this is the favorite place oh. of the children. They come here, they read books, or we have classes here. Yeah. They love it. Yeah. Y you understand? Yeah. This yeah. is so nice for them. It's it's. Yeah, it's great. It's really modern and mm -hmm. it's great. great. Are there English books here? Very there are English books here, but they okay. can't. we need more to be honest. Yeah. What What sort of things do you need for, for to help you in your English teaching? Well, we need, let's say, flashcards, flashcards. verbs, uh, or um, I have bought some A B C D uh, alphabet co um, in cards. Mm -hmm. but, uh, well. Yeah. Like small, or little little stories, fairy uh -huh. tales, but okay. with simple words. Yes, of course. It's very simple. That's and what. Big, that's um, what you're lacking pictures. at the moment. Yes, yeah. right okay. now. Yeah. Anybody listening to this? That's what we need here. Simple little storybooks. Yes. Flashcards. Very simple things for the children. What about like DVDs and things like that? Or um, um, it would be nice, but again, uh, very simple. simple yeah. Yes. So that we can teach the simple things. So we can have have um, 
they can learn the basics mm -hmm. so that they can, can move into more com complex. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. If they don't get the basics, exactly, they'll never understand exactly. them more. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay. Yes, it is. Very good. Uh -huh. Got that. Ah, here's a here's another student. Yeah. Oh, you're the biggest girl. You're the biggest girl here. What and what is your name? I don't know. Jose wants to read something. Okay. Ashwama, amen kahakche. Vora inkan kato kune na vora mera arva zan sari thag. Ayo na yerevani mi kul thagamase sakain. Taneri bakerum yev aikinerum har hash yev hamerash hatrum and shuneru katuner. Before you go, I want to just ask you what sort of things do you would you like to do when you become bigger people? When you when you become Football player. Football player. Yes, the co-host. Uh, lawyer. Lawyer. Oh. Judge. Judge. A judge. Judge. Oh, oh boy. I think he can maybe do it. Designer. 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 A hairdresser. Hairdresser. You don't all have to. You, everybody changes when you get. You know, you get older and older. You change your ideas. Okay. It's been. It's been for me and my wife and uh, for Lilith also she's from Teach for Armenia it's been a wonderful experience to come here to get to know you for you to show us around it's been a really big pleasure for us and I wish you all success in the future and uh, I want to see this village grow and become even better than it is now Shat urache, o asume vor Yesu im kine, yev na ev Yesel, ilite. Shat urache in kester get nevel. Shnora kaleng vor shmes tuitstevetsi kiogite sarjan vaide de sirul teve de mes tuitstevetsi. U shat husove inke vor gyure kezar gana. As inken tu kieves. We'll come back. We'll, we'll come back and see you again. Are we? Is it okay if we come back? Is it a view from the hall? And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? We've got a little playing area here. They can play soccer, volleyball. Wonderful. What a view. Avachi Matnagits the teacher of Minya is Avachi, Hirn Derela, Korgad Tam Hamuyan, Wurin Shot Fidating, who Archunkum, Shunolivia, Latin Ruchan, Lava Nagadmi teacher of Minya, and Hamagotachum Shalnakumek, who E. Pagos Meth, Cheng del Gohum, who Patas think Shalnaki Hamagotachum, and Hanura Pom and Lab Kadero. <laughs> yes. So he says that Nibargan Tarkman. Every school has its issues, and this school has issues that we need to solve. Um, on the one hand, the state can help. On the other, well, we um, donors or people who want, uh, like you, who want to help, they can be of some help. Uh, and he says that they have been collaborating with Tish for Armenia. Mm. for 10 years wow, that's, and that's really they don't cool. complain about mm. anything really? on the contrary they are really happy that they uh, these teacher leaders uh, come mm. here mm. and the first one was uh, Margarita Hamoyan and they loved her very mm. much mm. Uh, yes and they were really, really satisfied with what she did yeah, yes that's wonderful really wonderful <laughs> Is love Marta Chikaro, Linel, Vato Sucic? They say, the principal says that we, he wants to continue this collaboration with Teach for Armenia mm -hmm. and that he, what he values most in life is human beings. Mm -hmm. So if you are a good human being, mm -hmm. you can't be a bad teacher. Yes. And now he said about uh, Lucine 
who was uh, G7 from the previous generation, and I'm G8 ah. now. What is G generation? Oh, generation, generation 7, generation oh, 8. We're talking about generation. New generation. Yeah. <laughs> right. okay. So he says that we are uh, good uh, human beings. G8, great. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but most important what the principle says. Yeah, good, everybody must have a good heart. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. And the principle yeah. said, he said, uh, mm. uh, he appreciative uh, teach for Armenia, not for just teachers. Mm. They're yes. sending the great teachers. Oh, wow. And this is very wow. important. Yeah. This is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Because uh, children need good teachers. Mm -hmm. No such understanding as bad students mm -hmm. exist understanding exactly. bad teachers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because if students not yeah. learning students not doing and they can't learn because of teachers bad mm -hmm. yeah. but if they're learning they mean teacher is great mm -hmm. so that's what he mm -hmm. said so we want to quickly show you where uh, miss sona lives the teacher leader and this is the view that she has from her home uh, it's raining it rains a lot here um, I'll just show you quickly without trying to get too wet. There we are, that's the house. Go upstairs. It's the living part upstairs. I don't know what's maybe storage area downstairs. She got a little kitchen, very, very s small and simple. her living room. Bedroom is there and she just put on a little bit of a spread for us before we go back. What's that called again? It is uh, Bishi. Bishi. Yes. This is Bishi. Mm -hmm. yes. And one of the students, uh, mother's made that and we've got some gata mm -hmm. also. Oh, it's a nice size room. <laughs> And out here is an amazing balcony. This room is amazing, honestly. This is so. It is an awesome view. In summertime, I can imagine it would be just spectacular. Let me go through an opening here. Have a look at that for a view. Have a look at that. It's just magnificent. So that's where Miss Sona lives. Sona. Yes. And Sona and Sona. Yes. It's been a magnificent day. We'd like to say Wonder goodbye, day. but we have to travel all the way back to Yerevan now. We're going to take Miss Sona, <laughs> Mrs. Sona, <laughs> Lilith, and Agassi back. So and we'd Mr. like to say. It, Mr. Mitchell. So it's bye from Mitch. Mrs. Mitch. Bye bye, thank you for coming. Lilith. Bye. <laughs> bye. And bye from Agassi.